Hey, what's good, people? Welcome to WJW Channel 613's news program, episode 666. I'm around live with your boy here. Be gracious. Very hurt. Very hurt. I'm in searing pain right now. I am out of pain medicine. Um, that's crazy that they only give you a certain amount of pain medicine, but they don't call the fucking, they don't refer you to the orthopedist until like fucking three days after your pain medicine wore off. It's fucking stupid. I don't fucking get it. I don't get it. I don't want to get it. It's fucking bad. I'm going to tell you something. I had to call my fucking doctor today and say, look, man, look, man, all right? I might be out of the pain medicine maybe a day earlier than I should be, all right? Because I don't fuck around with opiates. But the fact of the matter is that I'm going to need them because this fucking thing hurts, man. I'm fucking hurting, like for real. Like, I take a fucking pain. I take a pain. But this is fucking pain. Fucking pain is pain. Fucking hearts. Anyway, this is a 666 fucking show of Underground Live. That means that 666 shows were written for your pleasure. Now, in 666 episodes, the audience has changed. I mean, God, I've seen families come in and out of here. Clicks come in and out of here. Groups come in and out of here. Right now, it's kind of scattered. I don't know who's watching. I have absolutely no idea who you are or what you're about. See, because when I was live and I was interactive, it was fucking kind of cool. Um, I, I knew everybody that was there. I don't know who's watching this fucking show or not, because I, I, I'm, this is fucking I, a couple of hours before I'm supposed to release it. You know, I have no idea what I went through last night. The craziness of my life, I fucking went through some craziness last night that uh, prevented me from getting the show taped and written. Uh, fucking this, 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 this fucking, this, this, this thing is fucking killing me. Fucking, it's like right here. Look, she's right here. Ah, ah, fucking, oh, oh, oh. I have a fucking burn, like a fucking burn in my fucking neck from that fucking strap, man. This ain't fun. And I still make sure I get to you 666. Maybe I shouldn't count this one as 666. Maybe I should just give this as a public service message. Because I should really do a number on 666. You know what I'm saying? This has to be 666. Because 666, I just fucking, it can't be changed, man. You can't edit or censor it just because it's not going the way you want to go. I decided yesterday that I was going to do this fucking on the fly. It's going to be good. I wasn't expecting the fucking problems that I ran into. The situational fucking hazards. Uh, that prevented me from doing my fucking job, which was finishing the writing on this. I, I had a, a small idea what I wanted to do, but all right, so I think I might be the Antichrist. No, for real, people. I think that I was born on June 12th is the day that the Antichrist would have been born on, on June 12th, because um, despite what you might believe, I'm going to lay a little fat on your head and give you some information that you probably didn't know. For those of you born on June 12th, we all might have a little bit of the Antichrist in us. Because it's numer numerology, people. I happen to be a numerology expert, and I'm going to explain to you in the simplest of ways that I possibly can. You got to get it. Listen, when it comes to fucking following this show and thinking that it's funny, I don't know if you guys really get it. You're supposed to watch the pictures. If you take your eyes off the fucking camera or the fucking screen, whatever you're watching this on, you miss the fucking joke. I just say the fucking joke, but the punchline's in the picture. You got to fucking, you got to catch what's fucking going on. It's the same thing with numerology, okay? I have to, I'm going to explain this to you in a way you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention to what the fuck I'm saying. You might want to look, because I think I'm going to put something up there. Like, right... All right. So, oh, I got to explain what it is. Yes, if you take the month of June, it's the sixth month. And if you take the twelfth day of June in the sixth month, and you divide that by two, it comes out to six and six. So, therefore, you have six, six, and six as the number of your beast. Of the beast inside of all of us, June twelfthers. Just saying, it's possible. Sometimes I tell you what, I kicked some motherfucker out of my house this morning with no fucking care at all. No care at all, regard for their feelings. I was like, fucking, I was on fire. Ooh, I was on fire. I right, some night last night. Last night, you know what? I need friends to talk to. Let's talk for a second, all right? We're going to get to the fucking stripper's gift in a minute. But you know what? 666, it's going to be a therapy session for your boy here, B-Grange. If you don't fucking stick around, then fucking fast forward to the fucking... You don't want to miss the stripper's gift. I guarantee you that. I'm playing career suicide, really. But um, you're going to want to stick around and see The Shipper's Gift. It's a movie short. Um, I've been going through a lot of tension lately, man. i got shit going on in my fucking life. All right? That's fucking crazy. Are you guys aware? I haven't, even, I haven't spoken to my father in fucking three weeks. I don't give a shit. I'm not upset about it. I don't really fucking like the guy. He's not a fucking nice guy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really overly upset about it. From what I understand, he's fucking carrying on like a fucking little pansy. It's fucking sad. It's sickening. He's making threats that he'll never keep just to sound tough. It's fucking ridiculous. It makes him look stupid. I don't hear this. It's all hearsay. You see, I've been watching the Johnny Depp trials, so I've been talking very much like a fucking attorney, you know, a lawyer. Sometimes I object to myself. I'll say something. Objection! Overruled. 
It's because sometimes I think I'm crazy. You know, I haven't taken my fucking medicine today, which would include my fucking Cialis. You never know when you're going to need to perform. Got to make sure you're on that shit, right? Right. Okay, so, um, yeah, man, bad fucking night last night. I threw this guy out fucking um, like the Antichrist would. Yeah, uh, he was stone cold talking. And I just, I, 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 I'd come out of this studio trying to make a fucking show, which was impossible because I can't do this with people in the house. This is a fucking intimate fucking setting here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking craziness. I can't, I have to be alone in order to fucking do this. I so badly want to fucking rest my arm up on this fucking table, but it's impossible. It's impossible. Um, yeah. So, uh, my show is fucked up. All right. So listen to this. I got to ask you guys a fucking question. Is it fucking, if I, I'm, I'm full, full of tension. I got this fucking tension on. I noticed last night, last night was a night of discovery as well. I discovered I fucking kick a motherfucker out of this house like a motherfucker if I get pissed off. But it's because of the tension that I've been feeling and the things I've been going through. It's completely situational and environmental. All right? I'm going through a fucking time right now. And believe me, bitches are not, and I, I, I said that for a reason. That's a little inside joke between me and the, uh, the, the person that's going to probably watch this or not watch this because he thinks I'm an asshole because I kicked him out. Sorry, man. It's all good. We're over it. Um, I have tension, man. And I, I feel myself like this, man. Like my fucking muscles are fucking tensing all up. Right? And I get this great idea in my fucking head. I'm like, dude, let go of yourself for a second. Just let go of yourself. So I just let it all fucking go. Like, I just fucking drop down. I was like, holy shit, man. This is fucking great. I'm telling you, this is fucking great. I just did it now. I was just tense. I didn't even realize it. You're fucking tense, man. And you don't even fucking know it. You're walking around all tense and shit. Your shoulders up and shit. Your fucking muscles perking and shit. Fuck that, dude. Stay loose and limp. That's what I'm saying. The only thing I want to get hard on me is my fucking penis. That's it. And you want to know something? There's a time and a place for that, too. Just like there's a time and a place for that joke. I'm trying to... All right. Anyway. So, I had a very tense night. I come out of the studio after trying to make a fucking a show that was impossible to make. Because I was fucking frazzled. I was frazzled. I had a house full of people here last night. Because what we were doing last night was we were fucking condoning, consoling, rather, consoling a friend who lost his friend, who died. Very sad. Okay. But where does that put me on the spectrum of friend of a friend of a friend's when I'm feeling tension and anxiety and it, 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 the, the pain that is so explicit and in my in my shoulder that it's ridiculous? I, I seriously, I'm a really fucking, I I I'm a tough dude. I I'm, I I take pain. I've been hurt a lot. This fucking hurts, man. In, in my experience of feeling pain, I would say that this is his fucking ranks up there. You know, don't let the straight face fool you. I'm fucking hurting. So, uh, yeah, here I am, and I was pissed. I had a fucking house full of people last night. I have one guy who won't fucking shut the fuck up. He's just going and going and going and going. You know the fucking kind of people you ask what time it is? They tell you how to build a fucking watch. Fucking killing me, man. Fucking straight just... I hate people that fucking talk too much. It's like, listen, dude. I hear you. It's What about when the people screaming at you? I had two kinds of people last night. They were both fucking talkers. One guy just talks so fucking, like, stupid that it's fucking ridiculous. And the other guy just screams. He is not even what I would consider fucking talking. So, we're consoling a friend who has a friend that has passed away. But in the meantime, I have this shit on my... See, I don't think people understand how important this show is to me. This show is fucking everything I fucking do. All right? I mean, I do the podcast. It's very, very important to me. All my shows are very, very important to me. But Underground Live has been my baby for seven years. 666 episodes. Who would not think that 666 episode is not fucking important? And fucking give me my time to fucking write the fucking show and to fucking film the fucking show. I was unable to, because once again, B. Grinch had to step out himself and be there for someone else other than himself. And now I did this fucking show on the fly. About to end in 55 seconds at the 10-minute mark. Got to make sure I, I, I hold enough time for uh, It's a Stripper's Gift. Because that's a fucking great movie that um, yeah, yeah, you're going to want to see. As a matter of fact, we're going to get ready to go see that right now. So listen, guys. I fucking, I'm feeling tense. I'm going to try to get over that. I'm going to take a Klonopin right now. And maybe um, I'm going to try to get me some sleep. Because it was all night last night. You have no idea what the fuck I went through. It was fucking bad. It was fucking bad. And this morning. It was really bad. Anyway. Peace, love, and anarchy, guys. If I miss anything, I'll try to watch this and take notes and pick up where I left off. But for the meantime, keep it real. Love each other. And peace out. Talk to you guys later. Enjoy.